Welcome back, Orleans, to more The Bard's Tale, Tales from the Unknown. Let's return to the Temple of the Mad God, shall we? Been a few days since I've been able to play. Been busy with life, and while I'm speaking on the matter, I think you guys should know that I appreciate all the advice, all the comments you give me, but you have to keep in mind that I don't necessarily read and remember all of them. Actually, I do read all of them. I guess I should say I don't remember all of them. One I do remember, though, is I have the ability to cast Trap Zap to actually blast the trap. Here, I'm thinking the whole time that was just for containers. And uh, apparently, you can use it to get rid of traps until, of course, you come back down into the dungeon. So since we know one's here, let's try it. Looks like it just gets rid of it. Doesn't actually take it off there, but anything within 30 feet uh, is destroyed until, of course, we leave the level and come back. And then I assume that means even with, if we're within the catacomb level itself. Can't wait to get a port arcane. I need to definitely write out the spells and kind of get myself more familiar with the buffs that I want to have active at all times. Uh, for now, let's get down to level 2 because that's where we need to be. There's another trap here, so... I do have Levitate, but that is no guarantee. Trap Zap, however, is a guarantee. I'm expecting these all just to be single rooms, but we're gonna map it all out. Give me a break, where do they come from? A half-orc, four scarlet monks. Four conjurers and three werewolves. Jesus. It's getting crazy. Okay, well, you can take care of that guy. Um, we don't want the conjurers to be able to screw with us. Uh -oh, we have some kind of actual addition, addition here. This is new. We now have icons across the top which show us the different types of spells. All spells, exploration spells, healing spells, buffs, single target spells, multiple targets, curses, and summoning spells. Very cool addition. Um, I haven't been keeping up with the patch notes or anything, so uh, if you want to tell me all the little details on what's happened in this latest patch, feel free to in the comments, because I'm probably not going to go find out for myself. I'm too busy uh, between life and the other videos that I've been uploading. Uh, not to mention, I run a, a game group here and a DD and d group and play in a DD and d group and have a girlfriend and all that fun stuff, so uh, I'm lucky I have time to sleep. Let's put it that way. And I barely do that. Um, but this is very cool. So we got our buffs, single targets. <clears throat> Can poison something, multiple targets. So maybe some shock sphere on the Scarlet Monks. And this star flare goes 40. Cast that on the werewolves. See how this all plays out.
All right, now everyone's face to face, just the way we like it. Well, that's the way Lug Lug likes it. Shocker! We like unidentified weapons. So, so far we have uh, Ybarra's Mystical Coat of Armor and Traveler Tune helping out with our armor. Major Levitation and Greater Revelation. You can see our AC is uh, in a good place. You battle cry is heard by all eight ogre magi. Wow. I don't think we've fought ogre magi. I don't know what a spinner is, but I know, do know I want to kill it. But I also kind of want to see it, so... Not sure I want to get too crazy. We could try withering the Ogre Magi. They're probably immune to it. Let's just save on, save our magic. <laughs> See how bad these guys are. They're attacking with melee and not casting spells, so that's a good sign. That's good. No sorcerers to attack us with magic. Yellow has the fire horn. Let's try it out. Spinners are getting closer. They're spinning their way towards us. I'm getting dizzy watching them. A song of only fire achievement unlocked. It's probably from using the fire horn. I dig it. We can go ahead and kill uh, one of these guys. Ah, spider spinners. Web spinners. Oh, <laughs> 
They're probably pretty poisonous. We have really good AC, so... We can kind of hang on to our spell points and get attacked. This is a big battle. Of course there's darts that we didn't detect. Yeah, we already have an Elf Cloak for a uh, YOLO. No one else can really use it. If I take this off and add this, can I do that? Yeah, I can. Armor two, two, one. So I guess the gauntlet's the best thing to get rid of. Lax Liar, by the way, if you didn't see the comment, uh, thank you forever. Uh, left that. The Lax Liar basically lets you have infinite amount of songs. You don't need to drink. The bard's voice never gets parched, and he can sing and dance and frolic all day and all night long in the tavern without drinking. Um, the fire horn lets me throw fireballs, which is nice. So here's the question. If I guess if I'm down to my last song, which is kind of hard to do, it seems like, uh, when you get this high of a level, do you really run out of bard songs, uh, before you get back and rest and drink? Probably not a lot, but if you were, you could throw on Lax Liar and you should be good to go. By the way, Lug Lug is ready to hit 13. This is going to be a big level for us. We're going to do some class changing. Go multi-class with our wizard. They just need a bit more. I'm excited. How about you? Of course you are. That's why we're going to fight these two zombies, two werewolves, four werewolves, and three conjurers with utmost urgency. Clot, hang on to your stuff, and let's let Ronstock do some, do some damage. Yeah, I want to get rid of those guys. I do not like magic users. I don't mind werewolves. They have to attack me with melee, so most of them are going to miss. Oh, man. I thought they were... Dragon Breath was 40. What did I do? I wasn't paying attention to something. If I can't hit them, how the hell? Yeah, that's all they can hit me with this freeze. They must have been 40. That's confusing. I thought Dragon Breath was 40. I guess I was mistaken. 30. Oh, yeah. Star Flare is 40. All right. Well, you can sit there at 40 and get hit with Star Flare instead. I can just see all you watching going, Don't do it, game harder! You're casting the wrong fucking spell! That's alright. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I'm not the smartest cookie. I'm just really good looking. Examining the chesticle. I don't trust any of these damn chests. I'm just tra I'm going back to trap zap everything. Lug Lug's mad at me right now. He won't. Ooh! Sweet. Firehorn. So we can just start spamming that shit. 
Not sure if there's a way to recharge items. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Kill those whites. Jack wears. You can come up and play. Oh, they're coming. They want to get some. Five of them, huh? Well, they can hit Yolo, who has negative eight. I'm not even really worried about healing yet. I'm going to be running back to the surface here anyways. Uh... We'll just do the circle. Whoa. Lost my compass. That'd be an exploration spell. Kiel's magic compass. Two stone elementals and three black widows. I am actually more concerned about the black widows, I think. Just because I don't want to get poisoned. And I had a feeling that they would miss. However, I won't miss. Another commenter made a good point. I haven't been completely walking into the spaces, which as I mentioned earlier, it will leave a lighter blue text or hex or square rather, like this one in the center. Uh, and I'm not gonna necessarily be able to see that there's secret doors with the revelation spell. Um, I'm not sure what the range on it. I guess I have to literally be adjacent to the secret door. Well, that one I could see. That's a secret door. With a load of sissies behind it. Wow, everyone's far away, huh? Range attack, then. Um, she must be out of arrows. Now she's not. I don't think it's really worth spending any spells for that. arrows too. I like arrows. I think they work. They are better than nothing. Let's put it that way. Just killed a sorcerer with one. Somebody had commented and made him sound useless. I have to disagree with that at this point. Of course it was trapped. Goblin Lord. They're going to all have to advance, so we'll let them. Unless this Goblin Lord knows magic. Yeah, he's toast. 
Another elf cloak. We'll leave that door for now because we're just working this circle like a circus seal. Another couple of commoners actually said the best way to deal with old and stone is to kill those monsters before they get to attack. Well, I'm, I'm good with that advice and I'm going to try to stick to it. Because it's too damn expensive not to piss away the spell points to avoid it. Especially once they turn you old. I did not mean to advance. I actually was going to shoot first. But this should work. Goodness, his doppelgangers. What if my party's already full? They can't doppelgang me. Let's just see if we can kill him first. Nope. He jumps in quick. So is the lug lug with spell points the fake lug lug? Uh, this doppelganger I want to attack. It just didn't even give me a choice. I don't know what the hell I did here. Let's see. Uh, Lug Lug 1, I think, is the right one. I, I want to just deal with this and see how this works. Uh, no, you want to party attack with Lug Lug 1 to hit 2. Lug Lug 2 is going to defend and not do shit. Um, and then we're going to party attack 2, party attack 2. Everyone attack him. Except you, you kill the Goblin Lord. Oh, I didn't even have to do, uh... Just, oh, we critted him, so that's an insta-kill. That's right. Get the hell out of my party. So I'm assuming I have the real lug lug. Now I'm scared though. <laughs> they took him out of my party too. Um, I don't think they'd do that if it was not the real one. Blue dragons, that's interesting. And scary all at the same time. Ow. 
Blue Dragon. Holy hell. We need to take these guys out. I wanted to see what they look like, but the hell with that. There they are. I forgot. It shows the picture while you're attacking it. Five stone giants. Three stone elementals and four assassins. Need to kind of hang on to yours. <laughs> you can't hit Low Wang. <laughs> Viper got a crit. The crit insta kill deal is kind of nice. I didn't realize that was an insta kill. But that does make the hunter pretty nice. I hear that later in the game, though, her ability to insta-kill is reduced a lot because the monster's ability to deflect instant killing, or critical hits, rather, is greatly reduced, which is unfortunate, but nothing we can do about it at this point. Nope, I didn't say that. I mean, you have the fire horn. Use it. Caught probably could use some healing. <laughs> Mithril gloves. That's an armor two thing. Sure, Yolo could use it. He's in the front lines. I mean, leather gloves kind of suck too. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Might be time to blow my load here. Viper, you might as well go ahead and... Uh... Hopefully get a critical hit.
I'm not sure how good that poison strike is. You guys will have to let me know on that one. Ah! Firehorn range must be different than the dragon breath. Must be melee only. you. Probably need to heal. We should get our teleport spell now as well. Let's test something here. Okay, it's still gone or my levitate worked. So you got this lighter blue square here. That darkens it in. until you leave the dungeon. I'm not sure. You guys will have to educate me on that one. If the traps come back when you actually leave the entire dungeon or if they come back even if you just leave the floor. At any rate, we have some training to do, so I'll be pausing the camera here in a second while I do so. Needs to be day for that. Let's check out what we picked up, though. Uh, I don't think we need any more elf cloaks. Fire horns, we're going to hang on to that for sure. Short sword, no thanks. Gauntlets and leather gloves are out. Uh, I want to stay save Lax Liar. It's a good emergency weapon. Finn's flute! And a bard sword. I heard bard swords are really kick ass. I can't remember why, but. So yellow, Finn's, Finn's flute looks like it adds armor. That's pretty cool. And the bard sword. Eight damage. Okay, you can't use it. You can't use it. Well, holy shit, only a bard can use it. I would have never guessed. And that's going to give plus eight to his max damage. I need to get a list of what all the stuff does. The magic items. So I looked up Bard Sword. Apparently that gives you unlimited Bard songs, which is cool. Um, and it does more damage. So that will replace the Mithril Sword for sure. Uh, 
ogre figures and samurai figurines just let us summon those creatures. Not sure if they're worth hanging on to, maybe in emergencies or if we need some cannon fodder. For now, I have plenty of backpack space, so we'll leave them. And we'll be right back. Level 13 is upon us. Alright, so we have everyone leveled. And it looks like we're about to buy some new spells. A port arcane and flesh anew. For clot. Doc gets Death Strike and Restoration. So I was thinking just to have Clot go Magician and Ronstock go Sorcerer. Or wait. We have a Conjurer and a Magician. So we need a Wizard and a Sorcerer. Looks like we can't become a wizard yet. Now I don't know what the fuck to do. I think I'll just wait and take some advice from you guys. So in the comments below, please leave your advice or what you think I should do. What should Clot become? Um, she has the choice of magician or sorcerer. And Ronstock can become a conjurer or sorcerer. Clot is already a conjurer, so Ronstock can become what Clot is, or a sorcerer, and Ronstock is a magician. Clot can become either a magician or a sorcerer. So it looks like Wizard is after that. Um, you must need a certain level of amount of levels in a secondary magic user class before Wizard becomes available. That's the only thing I can think of. I haven't looked that deep into it, but you guys tell me in the comments what should Clot become and what should Ronstock become. And I will do some research as well and we'll see what we can come up with. For now, I'm just going to leave them. Because we're going to go right back down into the dungeon and kill some shit. Um, th what else that will do is they're going to, uh, I believe, go back to level 1 and there's going to be some power leveling required. Which means we might not necessarily want to jump down into the catacombs even though they will be protected. So that might not necessarily be a bad thing. Maybe I'll just look it up. Alright, so what I came up with as far as my research, uh, and I didn't do too much, maybe 5 minutes. But it looks like the recommendation is to have your conjurer uh, become a sorcerer. And have your magician, which is Ronstock, become a conjurer. The reason is something about uh, needing a mind blade spell. You only need one to work efficiently. Blah, 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 blah. None of us can become wizards yet anyways. Um, the other thing to note is that when we do advance them, they're going to effectively go back down to level one. They're, even though we have the other classes' spells, they're not going to be as effective. They're going to be casted by a level one character. Uh, which means they're not going to work against a lot of the harder monsters, apparently. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, wait for y'all's advice. I don't think it's too big of a deal to uh, go fight for 20 more minutes and not switch them over quite yet. And then what I'll do off camera is I'll get them back up to speed and get their levels back up. And I'll actually make two saves in case that's a that's a bad idea. For now, let's get back into the catacombs and kill stuff. With our new and improved shindigs. I'm glad we still have 40,000 gold after spending 40,000 gold. It's pretty sexy.
I'm not sure which one of these kind of nullify the others. Restoration makes all wounds disappear as your entire party is reforged into unflawed body bodies. Also cures poison and insanity. So I get a full heal for 12 uh, spell points for everyone? That seems dope -alicious. Dust Strike, this incantation is very likely to instantly kill one enemy, big or small. Obviously, we need our compass. Took my chances that time over that trap. <sighs> Whoa! You got stoned! See? Magic carpet doesn't always save you. We're totally poisoned. Yeah, I can see where Trap Zap is definitely worth using. So of course, the quick save also is pretty cheesy. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Revealed most of that. We still have that other door down south here we can take. I also can now teleport. I'm not sure how much that cost, but let's try to use it when we're gonna get out of here in 15 minutes. The tower fly, a mad one die, once lost the eye. Well, we know Mangar is a mad one. We still have this area. And that looks like that just wrapped around, yeah. Master Thieves. Oh, oh they're not that strong. Boo. Or maybe I'm just a killing machine. Master Thieves, you know they trapped it, see? Pretty obvious. 
Oh, there we go. We got more blue dragons. We're going to need to take care of those. We've seen what kind of bastards they can be. I'm not messing around with seven blue dragons. We're going to kick the hell out of those guys. See, that's bad. They're all going to get to attack and breathe on me first. Seven of them. And they completely screwed up Ron Stocks being able to cast spells. Well, this is not a good fight. This is a losing fight. That's a I'm running away fight. I'm gonna reload fight too. They cast that uh, stupid ass silence spell on me. Seems right to give those to. Well, let's save them up. Six to twenty-four. They do double damage of regular arrows. Might want to hang on to those. Oh, that's nice. I didn't put my fire horn back on. I should probably keep that on. <laughs> Dragons are nasty. God damn it. I'm not going to waste magic on these guys. I guess I could have tried out my new all heal spell. Works good. Freaking conjurers.
Black Widow isn't doing shit, buddy. It's like all they can do is get away with that free shit. Minimum, better hit, but the max still isn't as good. That's kind of annoying. The max would go down that much. Three to seventeen, this is three to nine. It's not that great. It's gonna get sold, it looks like. 1 to 16. Might do better overall. I don't know. What do you guys think? Trade out one of the Hellbirds for a Mithril Axe. It's gonna get a higher minimum on the attacks and it's gonna hit more often, but minus 7 on three, four separate attacks, it seems kind of a big, big deal. I kind of had a feeling this was a, uh, well, it looks like there's less conjurers. There's not seven now. There's a wizard instead. I mean, if we don't, yeah, we're, they're going to breathe on us. Our dexterity isn't fast enough to get both these attacks off. They're already attacking. Lost two party members. Okay, why can't I run? That's a pain. Mm, okay, so it's not always the same, but there's a doppelganger. Seven dragons in the back, that's not good. That was definitely reload the game and start back at the guild a few times right there. Giants galore. We got magicians too. I'm going to attack them instead. Oh! <laughs> 
We're going to town because the video is going to end soon and I'm just going to go back to the guild hall and await instructions from you, the hordelings, on where to take the magic users on their next avenue. But I am thinking the conjurer to sorcerer and magician to conjurer is a good start. These guys are screwed. Like I said, screwed. There we go. 5,000 gold and 4,000. Ooh, and a hawk blade. No idea what a hawk blade is, but it sounds cool. Could it be better than a halberd? Holy shit, yeah! Finally! We upgrade from 1 to 16 damage to 3 to 24 with the Hawk Blade. You know Lug Lug's taking that. You goddamn right I'm gonna take the Hawk Blade. I'm Lug Lug. Lug Lug get all the good shit. Saving 10 times to heaven for grabbing that. I'm on a damn spinner. Okay, I won't go that way. You convinced me. Oh, crikey. They're not even worth fighting. The experience on those guys sucks, from what I remember. I read somewhere as well, if you see a doppelganger, just run. If you guys know of any otherwise, or if they drop something that might make you want to actually fight them, that's different. But if all they're going to do is jump in my party and cause chaos, might as well just run. How do I get in this little square? Oh, it's right here, I see. Yo, I like that spell! Is that poor you? Yeah, 15. Whoa, it's not cheap. And of course, yeah, I definitely think I'm going to take Clot to Sorcerer and Ronstock to, um, to Conjurer. Because it would really help to have two people that can cast a Port Arcane and, uh, the flesh. Flesh restore. We have flesh anew here. Affects the whole. Uh, will affect every member of the party. That's nice. That costs 12. A lot of good spells on the conjure. I wouldn't mind uh, Ronstock having that. I guess it doesn't matter because in the end I was uh, planning on doing all four classes. Of magic users, I'm not sure how long that would take, but I'd still like to hear from you guys, and I'm in no rush to do it. I'll wait before I start shooting the next video. Till at least tomorrow, and then we can see. But actually, I got game night tomorrow. I'm gonna be playing a host of tiny epic games. That's super cool being able to teleport finally. I thought you just cast the damn... Oh, there's an anti-magic aura. Wow, that's rugged.
Wait a minute, if I go in there... Cast Trap Zap. I didn't do shit. I guess Trap Zap is not working either. It must be all magic. Anti-magic, period. We're just going to have to explore in there at a later date, because that's, that's deadly. Stop taking my damn map away. See, now I don't have enough to cast it again. Let's at least get my compass here. find my way back. On the first level, anyhow. Alright, folks, that wraps it up. I'm gonna get healed up, and uh, we'll do... Oh, shit! Everybody run! Three hobbits! We'll see you next time with some more Bard's Tale Tales from the Unknown. And we will, uh, of course, advance our our uh, conjurer and sorcerer, magician, and all that good stuff. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, lots of comments. Check out my Patreon channel if you want to. If not, no biggie.